Oh, hello, welcome back to the second video for chapter five review. I'm breaking it into pieces just because then you can find um, the problems that you want help with a little bit quicker. So this is going to be problems 14 through 22, and it's all performing multiplying and dividing of rational expressions. So we have to factor each of the four pieces to be able to do any canceling out of common factors. So bottom left is already factored. Um, top right is three, and we can write this as x plus three times x plus three. Um, and then the bottom right can factor into x minus four x plus three. And then we can cancel common factors of x minus four and x plus three there. And I think that's it. And we're left with three times x plus four in the numerator over three x plus two. Oh, the bottom left was three x plus 12. So this should have been three times x plus four. So this should be three times x plus four. Okay, right here. So these should cancel, forget this. And then the threes will cancel and we're left with x plus three. I was looking at it incorrectly. This is 3x plus 12. Okay, number 15 is asking us to divide. So we're going to keep the first fraction. We flip the second fraction and then switch to multiplication. And so it looks like we can we can cancel um, a y over a y. And that looks about it. So we have x, y minus one over x squared. Okay, number 16, we're moving up here. So number 16 is another division. So the first one is um, one over x squared minus nine times now x plus three times x plus three over one. And the x squared minus nine can factor into x minus three times x plus three. And so this factors or cancels the x minus threes cancel and we're left with x minus three over x plus three. And then our top left, this is an x to the fourth minus nine squared. So this is really x squared squared minus nine squared. So that is really x squared minus nine times x squared plus nine. Oh. And we have to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is 10x minus 15 over x squared plus 9. And then the bottom left that will factor into 3 and 3, a negative and a negative. Okay. So x minus 15 can factor, a 5 can factor out. So we have 5 times 2x minus 3. So let's kind of start simplifying. We've got x squared plus 9s cancel. The 2x minus 3s cancel. But this x squared minus 9 is really still a difference of squares. So we have x minus 3x plus three times the five all over x minus three. 
And so the x minus threes cancel. We're left with five times x plus three. Number 18 is a multiplication, so we just need to factor. So 7x plus 3y is factored already. 2x plus y is factored. So we have to factor 12x squared. Hmm. 2 and 6, 10. How about we do 2x, 6x. Um, and do a five here and a one here. So we have 10 minus six is the four in the middle. So we're gonna make the 10 negative and the six positive. Okay. Oh, and that's two X plus Y and six X minus five Y. Okay. Um, The two x plus y's, we can see that those cancel right off the bat. Those cancel. Okay. Let's see what this 42x squared. 42 usually is a seven and a six. And then a five, 15 is a five and a three, maybe. So if we do if we do three and a five here. Let's just check on the calculator. We're going to have five times seven is 35, and we need a difference. So subtracting three times six is 18. Ooh, and we get the 17. So that's what we need. So we need the 35 to be the negative. So it overpowers. And that works out. Oh, and that's seven x plus three y, six x minus five y. And they all cancel, and that simplifies to one. So it's really a lot of factoring is all. Okay, we have 19. Oh, wow, so 19. So let's factor out of 10. So then this is 49x squared minus 64. And then we can see that that's a difference of squares, 9x minus 8, 9x squared minus 8 squared. So the top left will be 10 times 9x minus 8 times 9x plus 8. And the bottom left. I'm going to do 7 times 7 for 49 and 8 times 8 times for 64. So 7, 9, 7x and 7x and 8 and 8. So 56 plus 56 is the 112 in the middle. So we can make these negative. Okay. Um, 20. Twenty-eight plus two is seven x and the four x, because that might cancel with a seven x down here if it works out right. And this looks the top seven x and seventy-two is nine and eight. We need them to add to make 95. So if we did nine here and eight here, we would have nine times four is 36 plus seven times eight is 56. That's 92, so it's not quite right. So what do we do the eight here and then nine here? We have eight times two is 32 plus seven times nine is 63. Oh, that's the 95, okay. So these can both be negative then. So we're onto something. So seven minus eight, one of those cancels there. Now on the denominator on the bottom right, they all have an X. So we can do that. 
And then they all can factor out of two. So 56, they can all factor out of two because they're even. What about, can they all factor out of four? 56 divided by four. Yeah, 62 divided by four. Nope. Okay, so let's just do two. So if we factor out a two, we'll have 28x squared minus 31x minus 72. So 2x, so we've got to factor this. So 7x and a 4x. And hopefully it's maybe 4x minus 9. So let's try the 9 and the 8 here. And they have to be different this time because we want to make a 31 and it has to be a negative 72. So we have 32, so 7, 9 is 63, subtracting 32 is 31, perfect. So we're going to make this 9 and the 7 negative and the 8 and the 4 positive. So our 4x minus 9 top and bottom cancel. And wait, I factor this up here seven, nine, nine. It, I said seven, but I wrote nine. This is seven x and seven x. So our seven x plus eight cancels here, and our seven x minus eight cancels, and then we have ten over 2x, which should be 5 over x. Hmm. I said, I just wrote it incorrectly. You're probably catching up, which is good. OK, number 20. We're going to factor out a 2 right up front. So this is going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So 2 and then x and x and then minus 1. And oh, I don't think that can factor. Oh, well, that's a plus right here. So that will be a negative. Mm, nope. Make sure the top of the down right. So the x squared plus 3x minus 2. So minus 2 and a positive 1. No. So that is not going to factor at all. So that is going to stay 2 and then x squared plus 3x minus 2 over. And on the bottom left, maybe we can factor that into 2x, x. 5 and 1, so negative and negative. Yep, OK. And then our second fraction, we have to flip over. So the x squared minus 7x plus 10 is going to go on top. So I'm going to factor that into x minus 5x minus 2. And then the x cubed minus 8 is going to go in the denominator, but that's a difference of two cubes. So that's right here, x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4. So those cancel. After this is a two came out, but it should have been a two and then a two x squared. A two x squared. So because it seems like more should cancel. The x minus twos cancel. So now this two.
push the factor into two times two x times x. A two and a plus there and a minus one there. So four minus one is three. Okay, so we have two x minus ones cancel. And so on top we have two times x plus two over x squared plus two x plus four. I think that's all we can do on that one. These definitely take some time. So let's look at 21 and 22. So x k squared minus one is a difference of squares. So k minus one, k plus one. I'm gonna make it a multiplication and I'm gonna flip these. So k minus one on top. So the first cube, the sum of two cubes is k cubed plus one is gonna be the k plus one times k squared minus k times one plus one which is just one, okay. And then we're gonna have a difference of two cubes on the bottom. So it's gonna be K minus one times K squared plus K plus one squared, which is just one. K minus one will cancel or K plus one will cancel. And then k minus one in the numerator over oh and I didn't even see the extra little bit on the end. So we've got k squared minus k plus one times k squared plus k plus one. And then I didn't even see this up to the side. I missed that in the original problem. This little bitty piece down here. See it where my pen is? k squared plus k plus one. There's an extra k squared plus k plus one. So that whole thing cancels with that. So we're left with k minus one over k squared minus k plus one. Ooh. Okay, so the next one, number 22, is a difference of two cubes, oh gosh, a difference of two cubes is going to be r minus s. And then it's going to be r squared minus r s plus s squared times, I'm just going to write it out, r plus s times r plus s in the factored form. And then in the bottom left is just S minus R and the bottom right is a sum of two squares. I'm gonna verify, yep. And so a sum of two squares cannot be factored. So we, jeez. There's not really much that can be factored here, except for the R minus S and the S minus R. I can factor a negative one here and then have R minus S. So then they, those cancel, but we just have a negative one out front. So we have a negative one out front. And then on top, we have R squared minus R S plus S squared times, I guess I didn't even need to rewrite those but it's just rs, the binomial squared, all over r squared plus s squared. Wow. Those are tricky. Let's 
Okay, catch me back for the addition and subtractions of 21 through 29, uh, 21 through 30. And then we'll be back for 33. So catch me back for those. <laughs> 